Hello viewers, welcome again to my YouTube channel Inside Geography with Saad Rahujo. As you know, I've been uh, delivering lectures on different topics of geography. So today the topic which I have uh, uh, selected uh, for you, it's from the economic geography. And uh, as you know, again, the, this is also one of the uh, major uh, part or division of the geography, economic geography. Uh, and also this, uh, this uh, subject has been up by many uh, social uh, scientists, means the students who are been getting education or in social sciences. So they are part of the social sciences. So uh, the topic which we, are, which we are going to discuss today is the, is the economic activities. Again, it could be also be important, important topics. Uh, Economic activity, as you know, the man uh, who came on the surface of Earth, who, who when he, he 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 evolved and he reached the surface of Earth, you know, since then he's working hard. He's been struggling uh, because he has to maintain his life. Uh, for for the maintenance of life, he has to engage himself some sort of activities, and those activities they not only been demanding the you know the time and the physical work uh, <clears throat> at the same same time they also been a continuous struggle so uh, the food i'll say the food shelter and clothing uh, they are always been the priority of man since the inception uh, since he evolved on the earth you know so to get these or to fulfill his requirement or to get all these he he he's been working and he's been engaged in different professions or the occupations or different economic activities so in today's topic we will discuss all these economic activities means different economic activities or professions or occupations or different type of work which man has adopted since his inception or uh, since 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 he arrived, uh, so we will see the, how these economic activities are being uh, distributed, or in what form form they are being existing in the world, and how it has impact over the geography or geography has impact on those economic activities. So, without wasting time, let's go to the lectures. And so, let's start with the. Slide. So as I told you, it's all about the economic geography and the topic is economic activities. <clears throat> the activities which man adopts to survive or maintain his life. As you know, uh, you know, we will have to, you know, maintain our life. We have to fulfill the requirements which are prerequisites for the maintenance of life. So in this regard, uh, we need to do some sort of work, you know, so this is all about their type of work. So the the activity which man adopts to survive or the man or maintain his life. So the man who, you know, who's been working or been living in different parts of the world, he is not been living there in isolation or in uh, having, having a, what you say, sluggish or in a sense life, you know, so he's always been moving and been working. So, because he has to maintain his life, survival is not easy for, for the man. So, for his survival, for the maintain, maintenance, he always been working. So, economic activities always involve production, exchange, distribution, and consumption of the goods and the services. So, the activities which man have adopted are being uh, engaged. So, they always been having the production, exchange, distribution, or the consumption and goods. So it's like a, you know, a cyclic, uh, you know, structure or format where you have to production, then we have exchange, distribution, and the consumption. So these are the main people who are being engaged uh, in the different sort of work, you know, so, you know, because the life is not sedentary, or even we are, we are being depending on each other, you know, so, so the different people are working different are being engaged in different occupations so uh, this is uh, what does mean by these all things so production production the act or process of producing when you produce something 
uh, you know, because uh, it's very important to produce something for the others. So this is this is like a chain where you know. So production is is the first thing. Then when you are producing something, this is act of production, producing. So exchange, exchange in the act of giving one thing and receiving another. So it's something like you are giving something, and in return, uh, you know, you are getting something else. You know, so this is exchange. So people are being engaged. And not only production, but some some people are being engaged in, in, into the exchange. Then we have a distribution, the way in which something is shared out. So once you once you produce something, you need to distribute to reach out to other people, so that so other people may get the benefit from from it. So uh, once you are being distributing the things, you are being involved in the distribution. You know, so like you know transportation or information or the knowledge whatever you call so you are being distributing you are importing to or uh, sending to other places to other localities then we have a consumption uh, when you consume the act of consuming are using something so you not only been producing exchanging then a distribution the same time you are being consuming so it's also been important to maintain the and the life of consumption very important. So uh, now we talk about the you know the location of the economic activities where these economic economy activity exists. What is the particular place of location, or they are being occurring or remaining there? So the economic activity always exists in space. They are definitely sure they are always been in space, not in I would say in a space. I would say. And somewhere it, it doesn't have a location, or you know, it's present. So geography geography determines and controls the desirable location of particular economic activity. Geography has always have an impact or influence on on those economic activities because it controls. So whatever, like you know, you you see the different parts of the world. Either you are being living in a forest areas, where you living in a delta or the coastal areas, whether you are living in mountainous area. Or you are been living in the different uh, climatic environments, like you are been living in the desert area, the dry or semi dry areas, or you are living in the humid where there are lots of rainfall. Uh, or you are been living in the flatter areas or plainer areas where there is the agriculture and, and the flatter area there you have urban and urban structure, urban living there. So you are been living in different conditions and different parts and localities of the world. So geography has always influenced and impact on those uh, activities. Surely where you are been living, for example, if you are been living in a forest area, the mountain areas, so what could be the profession of the people there? Uh, if, you know, mostly the people who are been living in mountain area, so, so lumbering, lumbering and grazing, is the key profession profession of those, those people. If you are living uh, in a in a in a planar areas, you know, in a uh, alluvial plain, the fertile lands, so definitely the people. So most of the people are engaged in the agriculture. So this is somewhere you some something like you know where you are been existing, are been living. The geography has a control on it. If you are been living uh, in a urban areas, uh, urban areas, so you will have a you know different type of work. Uh, of work there, like lots of uh, different nature of the services there. So you have multi type of work there. So it depends on the location. The ideal place, uh, the ideal place of economic activities consider where it is least cost, a place where the cost of collection or distribution goods and raw material is low cost. So what would be the ideal place of any activity, economic activity? Is a is a place where you have a low cost. You know. Where you are being get getting more and more benefits, benefits while there is less less and less uh, losses losses. There. So surely, where you are being living there, is this thing is being produced in plenty. You know, so this could be the ideal place for the for the economic activity. If you are doing any agriculture, any production for mango, you know, sugar cane or you know cotton. So where they have been produced in that that place, this is the ideal place because. If in the same place you have a uh, you have a raw material means you have been producing that whatever the cotton what or the sugar or any production or at the same time uh, the, the that place has has processing unit you know the industry has factory in this that case in that case it has uh, you know low cost because you will get more benefit similar like uh, you might have heard that you know 
if you look at the world market or global market, you see that there are certain things which are in abundance and plenty in certain places, in certain location of the region, while those things are being absent are in rare form. Yeah. So the value, price value of those places, those things which are in rare, in limited, uh, in limited form or amount, uh, the cost or the value of price is higher there. Yeah. So it depends. Like you can uh, take the example of, uh, you know, so the, uh, what I say, the minerals, certain minerals which are being, you know, uh, extracted or being get from it. So in Pakistan, like, you know, we call the namak. So it is being in plenty of form in Pakistan, but the price is low because we've been getting, we have been getting and its resources or sources are so, you know, abundant that even in the future, we don't have a problem. So that's why the price is low. So otherwise, if you have another things in terms of oil, you know, petrol and oil, you see, you know, we are being spending a lot of money on them because we need our supply is limited while we need more and more. Uh, so we have we, we have a limited supply in terms of our own uh, production of the generation. So in that case, the value of price is higher. So the political situation, but thing is that what, what would be the condition for the political situation, social and government regulations, competition and comparison within the economic activities for holding space and other formalities never allow activity to firmly stand, stand within, the, within the ideal scenario. So in this case, like, yeah, like what is being said here, that we, we discussed that the the ideal place for the economic activity is where this been existing, which is the original place. So it's always been a lease code. But thing is that the political situation of that country, the governance, you know, structure of governance, the legislation, you know, or the the rules and regulations, and also being the social norms and moves. So they always have an impact on the uh, on the on the uh, on the economic activity. So like if you are being getting the raw material or the production of one place, but the processing unit processing unit and factory industry somewhere else, in that case, you will have to take that production and to send to the to that area, which is far from, from away from that, that place. So it is being regularized by the governments, you know, so because the government want to, you know, what to say, engage other people who so are been living in other parts of the world. So government also want to produce more and more, you know, opportunities of you know working on engagement or earning for the other people so so it depends uh, you know on the political situation and governance and the economic scenario every economic activity holds two locations specific and re relative location the specific or absolute location exit place or site where the activity has been strongly applicable so wherever you are finding that place that that uh, that production or that activity this is called the original place you know uh, the relative location referred to the pos uh, position of economic activity in relation to other supported features. So, uh, like, uh, you know, uh, uh, if you are being say one place which is famous, uh, famous for, or they say, like if you take the example of, you know, District Khaifumiris, where the dates on the mangoes are, and, and sometimes, uh, you know, bananas, they are being produced in plenty because the climatic condition of that districts allow to have a date production but it doesn't uh, prevail in other part of Pakistan. So the, you know, uh, so what is say the, you know, the, the district Khaipur is, is popular, you know, it's been known for the date production. Uh, but if, if this is the original place, but if, if that uh, the district doesn't, uh, doesn't have a, you know, processing unit, you know, so where, where the production has been, uh, you know, sophisticately preserved, processed, and then packed. So you don't have a dead zone or that that uh, environment. So no, so you 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 have established that processing unit somewhere else. So that that place uh, where that that is a processing unit. This is called the I would say relative location where that's been processed there. So uh, basically, uh, economic activities are being uh, is uh, this slide said that's been. Uh, holds two location. One is a specific, and then is a relative location. Uh, then we have an interconnection of economy. So you know, you know, the economic activities are always interconnected. They never operate in isolation. The physical, cultural environment keep them connected. So these. These all, you know, the economic activities we have been doing different sort of the work are being engaged in different 
uh, you know, work or you know, occupations or professions. You know, these all professions or activities are being connected together. You know, they are so uh, uh, so deeply interrelated, and at the same time, they are dependent on each other. So it's not like the same time you are producing, you are being distributing, you are being consuming, and you are being processing. So they are all being dis, uh, interconnected. So the physical and cultural you know, keep them connected because they are being dependent on each other. The push and pull factors create competition and contest among economic activities. So sometimes these economic activities, they not only, uh, you know, drag the attention of each other means uh, they uh, they pull each other to get many maximum benefit at the same time because if they get they they have a, they want to have a more benefits uh, so so they 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 they, they pull the they uh, pull the other activities towards them but if they feel there now is being competition or you know comparison sometimes they push them push them far away to 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 make more in space uh, for them. So it also been dependent. It's like I've been, you know, competition there. So sometimes they pull the other activities for attaining more benefits and sometimes push other activity to draw more space for firm standing. So it's always been a competition, uh, comparison and the competition. So whenever any economic activity feel that we need that a particular activity to have a connection, they connect them. Sometimes they push away them. So they don't want to have a more, uh, you know, connection with them. Uh, there are uh, now we are talking of we talk about the types of economic activities. The economic activities are classified in terms of their way, way of continuity from simple to, uh, to complex. So before going to these economic one, one thing is being clear: uh, the economic activities, this process always continue. Yeah, they are in always in a continuous form. So now they have a different form from simple to complex, but they are always in continuous in, in continuity. So this is a, like a continuous process. So uh, these activities are divided into following types of the group. So basically economic activities are of five, you know, nature of five forms or five groups or five types, you know. Sometime you may find, a, you know, the three and sometime you find the four economic activity. But uh, with the time, uh, because the people are being classified or divided, they are being part of different economic activities. So we'll see one by one these, uh, economic activities. So, in terms of five economic activities, we have a primary activities, we have a secondary activities, we have a tertiary activities, we have a quaternary activities, and we have a coronary activities. So, we what we what we will do here? We will distribute our uh, what you say, fulfill all the blanks. Means we will uh, fix all the people who are living in different parts of our into all these activities then you will be able to see that all the people of, of the world are being engaged, are being grouped in, in these activities. So we'll see which, which, which person or which man or which professions comes in which activities. Uh, we start from the primary activities. Primary activity involve exploitation of natural products such as cultivation of land and extraction of minerals and fuels from the rock. So in a primary activity, it is name indicate prime, primary, traditional or the old ones where what you have to do, what you have been doing here that you work hand in hand with the environments. So you have a close connection with the environment. So nature or the environment is the determining factor, is the influential factor on you. So these, also you, your profession or activity is being controlled by the environment. So these activities largely depend on Earth's natural resources where man works in close contact with the environment. So almost all primary activities are old age. People who are involved in primary profession label is a red collar workers because they are outdoor nature of the name. So what are you doing? Doing as I told you before, you are been working with the nature. So, like, what are the primary primitive or the old age activities where the man worked with the nature? So what nature provided or supplied man worked on them. So man man uh, uh, doesn't have to work more by his by his own. He has to just uh, you know, follow the rules of regulation of the nature, uh, nature where uh, he has to just look after the things. So similar like what could be the, like the agriculture or the farming, lumbering, fishing, mining. So these are those activities which are being supplied or provided by the nature. So 
in this case man doesn't have to you know work by his own like you know he have to do some sort of experiment or whatever so he, he has to follow the natural rules and regulation and he's taken in its original form so whatever been provided by the nature he's taken its original form so the people who are working in this activity, they are being called red collar people. So red collar people are those who are working outside, outside. They have a mostly, they have a uh, physical work where they have a, you know, work very hard, you know, uh, most of the time they have a filthy clothes or you can say they are being, you know, uh, not under any shadow on the room or any in a comfortable environment. So they're all been working outside the, under the sky. Uh, so these can be, you can see the what, what comes in the primary activity, which include farming, agriculture, mining, when you are mean extracting mineral from the, you know, from the, from inside the earth, and then you use those minerals for your benefits. So then we have fishing, when you are catching the fish, mostly people who are living in the coastal areas, uh, their profession is being fishing, we are the catching the fish, you know. So farming people who are living in alluvial plants, you know, the fertile lands where they do do carry their agriculture activities. Forestry, you know, forestry where there is a forest, so deciduous, deciduous or, you know, alpine forest or the other forest, you know, so they provide you the lumbering, you know, so, the, you know, the, the wood and uh, at the same time fruits and your trunk. So hunting, gathering a livestock also, when you are being catching or killing the animals and, being, and sometimes you are gathering, you know, collecting the, you know, the uh, fruits or nuts or whatever you, so this comes in the primary activity. So the people who are engaged, you know, whether in the farming, livestock, hunting, uh, you know, uh, like lumping and the, you know, oil extraction or you know fishing there comes in the primary activities now we are coming to the second activity so what happens in second activity the second human activity involve industry construction manufacturing processing infrastructure to make it more useful for products so what happens in second activity you will have a raw material from primary activity which is prime production you change the shape and form of the primary production for more useful useful uh, exploitation for your for your benefit so when you get the primary production uh, from lumbering uh, from the forest from the agriculture from livestock from min, uh, mining or you know you change the shape and form and they also been taste of that production for your own better use so so here the the you know the processing the manufacturing the construction are being involved so people who are working in construction industry you are working in, in industry or in factories on the processing units they comes in the secondary activity so secondary activity lead to the fast economic development since these activities supply product which are in high demands in every society so uh, secondary activity is a main uh, you know main stay of you know economic activity or economy you can say because it's supply it's supply you, you you've got already the raw material but you you get that sub supplement in in a different format in different shape for your use so, so you you see the development or what is say the progress in the world is because of this uh, processing construction manufacturing industry so what happened i can, I can give the example for them if you take the example of any agriculture product we, we take the example of wheat so when you are being rearing the land, when you are working in the on the fields, you know, uh, you just seeded the you know uh, the wheat, and once the sea wheat is being grown and um, you know and mature enough, you start to cultivate and you get the fruit in that case. So wheat, when you direct wheat, get, got the wheat, uh, you are in primary activity. So when you are working on the field, you are in pr your primary activity. You took that uh, the, that production of the wheat and you send it to the uh, to the flowers, you know, machines, you know, so our processing units. So that wheat is being changed. Wheat is being changed. Its shape is being changed from uh, from wheat is a grain is a sand to flower. So look at the shape is being changed here. 
So once the shape is changed, again you change in shape in chapati or non or whatever you call, or in any bakery or whatever. So you are been changing the different shapes. So look at the taste and shape is being changed. Here. Similar can the example of sugar cane. Sugar cane when you get the sugar cane directly from the land, from the agriculture land, and then you 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 are been getting the you know the molasses or you know the sugar white sugar from it or sometimes the juice from it so you change the shape for your better uh, for the benefits for more more benefit similar you can take the example of minerals you know you are extracting different minerals from inside the earth and you are changing them so look at where you have been living in, you know so these all things are being made of the minerals you know we are living in any building in houses or you know so these are being uh, you know taken from the primary activity, primary source. So similar, like you can take the example of, uh, uh, you know, lumbering, like you, you got the wood uh, by, cutting, by cutting the trees, you know, from the forest areas. And what, what happens then, then you change the shape. You make it more and more pieces and uh, got the new shape in terms of furniture. So like the chairs, ta tables and other things which are being used for a more comfort. So this industry, secondary, secondary activities are more beneficial or uh, key for the economic development. So they also encourage and enhance the growth primary activities by providing market value to the raw material uh, through the activities such as lumbering, agriculture. So, then not only you know this is very key for the for the economic development the second activity second activity also enhance the market value or the price of primary production so this is the primary production also being dependent on the second activity so people involved in second sector of economy is term is blue collar worker in the economy so people who are working in the second activity they are being called the blue collar people you know, because they work inside under the roof so now we come to tertiary activity tertiary activities consist of service sector before tertiary activities were limited to the distribution only where you have been distributing something are being you know you are being involved the distribution of production distribution of services information on the knowledge that was but now this tertiary activity is being you know, modify and the service, some sort of service sector has been also been involved here. So this sector draw a link between primary and secondary activity, providing commercial service to both the general population and the person and individual business. So what uh, happens in tertiary activity, people who are involved in tertiary activity, they connect, they are source of connection between primary and the secondary. So but you took the primary production, send it to the uh, to the factory or industry or processing unit so how you will get it so people who are being involved in distribution sending the, these production to the different parts of the world or different uh, different people they come to the tertiary activity so tertiary activities give you commercial services you know more and more you know easy way to grab or get these uh, these things. So, uh, these uh, tertiary activities not only provide services to the general population, the same time also being business to the individual person. So, tertiary activities uh, offers essential information to manufacture based on market value. They not only distribute the same, same, the same time also give you the information, market information how to manufacture then also how to distribute in with different form so it's also give you a market value the activities include retail uh, wholesaling uh, transportation distribution clerical service media tourism insurance banking and healthcare and the law they comes in the tertiary activity so you are been distributing you mean know, people who are being you know involved in transportation they also come in tertiary activities because they are been distributing the thing from uh, from what i say from a primary uh, source uh, from land to market from market to the uh, from, from land to the industry and uh, industry and factory then industry factory to the market and market to the people so they are being involved in the distribution at the same time clerical services because they, you not, not only have to distribute thing but you have to keep the record of their distribution so you know, so the people who are involved in clerical services uh, retail and wholesaling media and tourism also comes so the people who are in the media like you know newscasters uh, you know uh, manager production manager like uh, your directors you know and the, uh, you know actor actress you know newscasters i'll told you before they comes in this 
uh, tertiary activities because they are also been earning uh, the money from uh, from the, the so because of their money uh, you know their house houses are being maintained and their lives are being maintained it's tourism where the people give you information of different parts of the world and they guide the other people so they also come in the from information insurance banking teacher i'll say because a teacher who teach in the class uh, in the in, in the school college university they are also imparting the education or the knowledge or information to the students so because of you know they're imparting the information they get the money they are, they are being they're getting the salaries you know so they are being they have been they are being charging to the government and government provide them salaries so that in this case they are being uh maintaining their life healthcare to be doctors as a doctor nurses paramedics they also coming in the tertiary activities similar like the lawyers who give gives you uh, what is a uh, information or your knowledge or in terms of legislation and when you have a, any uh, legal issue you know or uh, you need to have a legal uh, uh, what is a information a suggestion from the people so the lawyer they also coming in the shady activities so this sector are categorized in pink collar workers so they are the people who are in, involved in tertiary activities uh, they are they are being called the pink collar workers so uh, like uh, you can say you have a trade people who are in restaurant hotels lodges supermarket they are comes in tertiary activities school teachers hospitals doctors transportation driving other including plumbing mechanics entertainment water supply waste management advertising legal service and court uh, official services or religious services so these all been, people are being engaged in different sort of work they comes in the tertiary activity so tertiary activity provide link between primary and secondary activities and also uh, give a market value or information now comes the quaternary economy activities before you know quaternary activity and quinary activity were merged together or uh, most of the time the economy activities were distributed are being classified on on four uh, activities but but now they have been bifurcated so quaternary and we have a quinary activities in quaternary activities quaternary sector of economy represent the intellectual knowledge part of economy so people who are being intellectual uh, in you know they are being uh, creating something involved in research high level of research you know uh, so prior it was in, uh, included a sub class of tertiary quaternary activities basically involve improving the quality service offered in the economy because you saw the tertiary activities you know providing you the legal Uh, consultancy at the same time market and business consultancies in quaternary activity they provide you provide you improved knowledge how to make it more uh, more more knowledgeable more important more valuable so when you have a high information high level of so they may be including high tech industries so industry which are being run on the high technology the people who are working in these they are being comes in the quaternary activity the science like the information technology high quality education we have a high quality or high higher education you know in university with with the research when the people are doing research and they they come out with new ideas new information which information have an impact on the society and the working of the world you know? so uh, software devel people develop new software to, to to you know make life more easier you know to save the time of the people so consultancy broker brokerage statisticians you know accountancy firm so they are you know people who are uh, you know having a you know creative mind you know they 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 provide you high quality of knowledge and they they come out with new ideas new information you know with, by after uh, you know having a scientific getting a scientific knowledge or using the scientific mind Uh, and comes with a new research a new knowledge which is always been a good for the for the society and the country so information technology research and development they comes in the quaternary activities now we have a quinary activities quinary activities is the last activities in economic activities which is number 5 in quinary activities uh, these are involved top executives or officials 
in government corporate sector the people who are at top level who are in decision making who always uh, you know what is say make decision which is for the society and for the general public so they are always at the top rank and they are being involved in the planning so they they make highest level of planning and decision in the society so their planning their decision have an impact on the society so they comes to the higher ranks like such as uh, you know uh, you know government officials you know head of states you know uh, prime minister president you know cabinet ministers you know or high level of people you know so uh, they are coming in they are being called cold gold collar workers so the people who are you know involved in culinary activities they get mm, or earn a lot you know so their time is more precious so they come out with a you know new uh, because they are always been engaged in decision making so they are being uh, you know what's a key uh, in that case because they are being the uh, leading figures or uh, leading people of the society of the country so it was all about you know economic activities i hope we uh, we what we discussed or you know uh, or you know mentioned in the lectures you know what the things are been discussed or we went through the things we we, we understood that so this is all about the quantity activity so in this case we saw that most of almost all the people who are working in different parts and different regions of the world and who are engaged in different occupations and what is a professions they are being classified are being uh, you know smartly included in these activities so i hope uh, you know you as usual you got what what i discussed with you so for more uh, more videos you know Uh, please sub subscribe share and like my channels so stay tuned to have a, another video thank you very much thanks for watching